Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a horror drama film. Run Thuddy. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie begins in a mansion where a convoy of cars make their appearance. An old man named Grandad makes his way inside and announces great news for the family maid. He reveals that his granddaughter, Runthati, is getting married, and Maid is overjoyed to hear this, so she goes to the temple to thank God for such a brilliant revelation. We learn that Runthati is the first female child born three generations after her ancestor, known as Princess, who looks exactly like her. While everyone celebrates this news, we see Runthati's relatives driving through the murky roads during the rain. Suddenly, they get into an accident and crash against a tree. The couple survives the incident, but the man, Runthati's mustached uncle, suddenly notices a lit-up mansion. He and his wife go to the mansion to make a phone call, but are warned by an old priest who tells them not to enter the mansion. They go ahead regardless and are greeted by a witch, who seems to be upset that Runthati is getting married. Witch immediately seals away the wife, and then she tells the man to go look for her. Uncle Mustache hears his wife's voice trapped inside a giant seal, but this is just a trap, and a bully ghost named Bully starts shouting at Uncle Mustache, driving him crazy in the process. An intense sequence follows as Uncle Mustache forms a crack in the seal, and then Bully takes over the mansion, exposing it to be haunted and abandoned, while Uncle Mustache tries to escape with his mustached life intact. Bully declares that he's going to take revenge from Runfetti for something that her ancestor, the princess, had done. As Runtuddy prepares for her wedding, Bully starts off his mission. Grandad goes to his room to get ready, but then Bully locks him inside and controls the water to make him slip when he least expects it. The others come to check up on Grandad, but Bully takes back the water and makes it seem as if Grandad was simply fooling around. Bully rejoices as Runtuddy leaves her city to check up on her Grandad in the same town where the mansion is located. Runthati scolds her granddad for being reckless, but then her uncle appears and starts talking like a madman, scaring everyone in the house. Uncle Mustache is taken away and tied to a chain like a turkey to be roasted, after which we see a psychic man named Beardy who heals a baby cursed by a demon. Beardy moves on using his magic beard and attacks a woman who was possessed by another demon. He uses all of his powers to perform a holy exorcism on the lady, while Runthati and Maid check him out. They ask Beery to cure Uncle Mustache, but he starts slapping him to begin his holy intervention. Runthuddy doesn't like this excessive use of violence and tells Beardy not to fool her with his tricks. However, Beardy challenges her by saying ghosts are real and shouldn't be taken lightly. He slaps Uncle Mustache once again to establish dominance. But Runthuddy has had enough of this drama, so she takes her uncle away, possibly because she pities his mustache. Beardy suddenly sees a vision of Bully, so he warns Runthati, saying she's the one in real danger. However, Runthati ignores him and walks away, even though Maid seems to trust him. Later, we see Runthati getting romantic with her fiancé over the phone, and he says he's actually at the haunted mansion and not in their city. Runthati immediately drives to the mansion for some hormone yoga, but this is a trap set by Bully. The old priest appears and advises Runthuddy not to enter the mansion, but she hears a whistle and mistakes it to be fiancé. Runthuddy looks for him, but can only find cobwebs everywhere. The door gets locked behind her, and then Witch appears. She calls Runthuddy to Bully's room as he mimics fiancé's voice. Now Bully starts calling out to Runthuddy aggressively and awakens her inner princess spirit. They have a war of words, not muscles, but Beardy arrives before things can get ugly. He has an argument with Runthuddy, who doesn't believe his smelly bullshit of demons and ghosts. Luckily, Beardy brings her to her senses when he tells her to call her fiancé. She is stunned to learn that he's still in the city, not here. Beardy tells you Runthuddy to leave this place as soon as possible. Runthuddy now finds a picture of the old priest at her home and asks her granddad about him. It turns out that the old priest is granddad's brother who had passed away 30 years ago. It all starts to make sense to Runthuddy now, as she thinks back to all the supernatural experiences she had. Runthuddy quickly asks Maid about the history of the haunted mansion, but she's reluctant to reveal anything. Regardless, Maid goes on to talk about Runthuddy's great ancestor, the king, and his two daughters, the princess and her sister. We learn that Bully used to terrorize the kingdom by assaulting and forcing his smelly body onto innocent women. Unfortunately, King Maid's sister marry Bully due to their family connections. Bully would only mistreat sister while also engaging in group hormone yoga. Bully's mom, revealed to be the exact witch, was also in on this and would openly ridicule sister in front of the others. In the middle of this, Princess started practicing Indian dance with a blind teacher. 
However, one day, Bully gets drunk and invades the mansion, after which he assaults the blind dance teacher and kills her. Princess witnesses the brutal attack and asks for Bully and his witch mom to be banished from the kingdom. However, King cannot do this because his daughter is still married to Bully, which tells Bully that sister has to be kept alive so that she can give birth to his son, who will become the next ruler of the kingdom. Sister can't take the guilt of her existence, so she kills herself in a painful sequence, and it makes King and Princess cry with emotion. Bully doesn't care that his wife is dead, and he starts insulting her corpse. This pushes Princess over the edge, and she orders her men to beat down Bully, which begs for mercy to her son, but is shown none, and then Bully gets dragged away by a Ferrari horse, hopefully to his death due to the horsepower. Unfortunately, despite Princess's heroics, which make her an icon in the kingdom, Bully somehow survives his punishment and is taken in by some tribal people. With vengeance on his mind, Bully becomes an evil magician and summons the dark forces to give him power. He makes it back to the mansion years later, when Princess is about to get married. He kicks off a brutal sequence, where he mercilessly kills everyone in front of him. A priest warns Princess against fighting Bully, but she refuses to walk away from a challenge and confronts him in front of everyone. Seeing her adult form makes Bully excited, so he decides to assault Princess first and kill her later. He begins by undressing her, but King can't allow this to happen, so he tries to stop Bully. He gets slapped and falls to the ground, after which Princess begins a holy dance and taunts Bully. A tense musical sequence follows, but Bully decides to turn the tables and mentions in detail what he did to the blind dance teacher. However, Princess uses her skills to summon some holy cloth and uses it to slash Bully with swords and broken glass. Princess is about to kill Bully, but the priest tells her not to do this, otherwise he will become a vengeful spirit and release his true powers. Princess eventually decides to seal off Bully, hoping to restrict his powers even during death, but Bully has died inside his seal later. However, he calls out to Princess at night, acting as if he's suffering. She goes to check up on him, but Bully reveals he has become a vengeful spirit and is going to make her pay for what she did to him. Now back to Urunthudi, she hopes that Bully stays locked inside the seal. But at the same time, Uncle Mustache gets tricked by Bully and his witch mom into breaking free from his captivity so that he can save his wife. Uncle Mustache enters the mansion, even after ignoring the old priest, and a tense sequence follows, after which she finally breaks open the seal. Witch rejoices as her son comes out of the seal and unleashes his dark powers. He immediately enters Runthody's palace and possesses a little girl who goes to serve her some tea. Runthody inspects the little girl, but she is revealed to be a zombie girl who goes on to attack Runthody. The zombie girl introduces herself as Bully and harasses Runthody by saying he's going to get his revenge. The zombie girl vanishes and her human form enters Runthody's room, much to her confusion. She runs to her granddad and tells him that they need to leave this town, while Bully's spirit sits on a rocking chair and plots his next move. Runthuddy tries to ask the driver to take her away from the village, but the driver gets smashed by a truck, and Runthuddy gets taunted by Bully's spirit. She thinks back to what Beardy told her about leaving this place, so she gets into her car to make a swift escape. However, Bully keeps toying with Runthuddy and ends up trapping her car on a railway track. Runthuddy can't get out of the car because the doors have been locked by Bully, who also goes on to kill a man trying to help her. Bully lets Runthuddy escape at the very last moment and tells her to go back home. There, he becomes a possessed zombie girl and scares Runthuddy some more. Bully doesn't want Runthuddy to die so easily, so he tells her to send her family away for a couple of days so that they can play hide and seek. He even kills one of the staff members to prove he's not fooling around, so Runthuddy does as he says. The family members, especially May, are confused when Runtuddy says she wants to live alone in the mansion for a couple of days. However, she convinces them to leave, even though she knows that Bully is going to have a field day with her. That's exactly what happens, as the zombie girl harasses Runtuddy. But luckily, Beardy shows up with his magic beard and fights the zombie girl with his holy coin. Even Maid is revealed to have stayed back, and she watches on as Beardy uses all his holy powers to defeat the zombie lady. Now, Maeve explains that Bully wants to torture Urunthuddy because of what Princess did to him in the past. Urunthuddy refuses to believe that she is Princess's direct descendant, but Beardy convinces her to channel her inner powers and wield a sword just like Princess would. Urunthuddy goes to Princess's painting and awakens her spirit from inside. Now we're taken to a flashback, where we learn that Bully had cursed the kingdom with a plague and famine, causing everyone to suffer from hunger and sickness. Princess took it upon herself to find a solution to this problem, and eventually she came across the tribe that rescued Bully in the first place. 
The tribe leader explains that for Princess to be able to defeat Bully, she will have to sacrifice her body in order to create a weapon that will be formed by using her skeleton. The tribe leader further explains that the first female to be born into Princess's family will be her reincarnation, who will have to use the weapon to kill Bully. Princess went through with these instructions. But before Vrunthuddy can learn where the weapon was hidden, Bully burns Princess's painting and tells Vrunthuddy that he's going to kill her and all her loved ones. Vrunthuddy gets visions of everyone dying, including Maid and Beardy, so she panics. Beardy drives Vrunthuddy to his place, offering some shelter, but then Bully possesses one of the guards and almost ends his life by running a car over him. Bully tells Runthadi's fiancé to go to Runthadi's town immediately, so he quickly catches a bus and makes his way there. Meanwhile, Bully distracts Runthadi when a hawk crashes into Beardy's car and leaves behind a photo of the fiancé. Then, Bully causes the car to crash and fall into a pit, causing Beardy to seemingly die. Runthadi manages to survive the accident and makes her way to Beardy's house. However, her fiancé reaches town at the same time and is taken away by a zombie rickshaw driver possessed by Bully. Maid notices this and tries to stop Bully, but gets killed, just like Runthuddy had seen in her vision. Runthuddy spots her fiancé in the rickshaw and manages to take him away from Bully. They get chased, but Runthuddy somehow locks Bully inside a holy room and surrounds it with holy dust. However, Bully uses his powers and pours water onto the dust, hoping to break free. Runthuddy tries her best to keep the holy dust intact, but it starts to run out. To make matters worse, Runthati's entire family shows up, and she tries to send them away, but it's too late as Bully breaks free. He kidnaps the family and tells Runthati to come meet him at the mansion during nighttime. Meanwhile, we learn that Beardy has survived the accident, and he rushes to the tribal leader to find out the location of Princess's weapon. He uncovers the weapon, but is told by the tribal leader that he also needs to soak it with Runthati's blood. Unfortunately, Bully reaches Beardy before he can do that and traps him inside a tomb. At night, Runthuddy goes to the mansion and is attacked by Bully, who has now become a fully formed demon man. He makes Runthuddy wear the same clothes that Princess did on her wedding day and is about to have his way with her. However, Beardy has managed to get out of the tomb and he makes it to the mansion in time to give the holy weapon to Runthuddy. However, she is unable to harm Bully with it because the weapon is not soaked with her blood. Beardy offers a distraction using his messy beard and wrestles his muscles with Bully, but Bully kills him in the process, ending his Beardy life. This triggers Urunthuddy to awaken Princess's spirit, and she stabs herself to power up the holy weapon with her blood. A tense battle follows, but Urunthuddy comes out on top and kills Bully by stabbing him with her blood-soaked weapon. Urunthuddy's family makes it out of the mansion, while it crumbles as a result of the fight. Luckily, the movie ends with Runfuddy walking out of the rubble, now fully formed as Princess's reincarnation. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.